Hi everybody, Bert Bledsoe here with Video Marketing Tips, day number 11, and today's tip is going to be a few tips, so I want to start off with showing you how you can use your script, if you're using your script as a description, how you can use that to upload it to your closed caption file on your YouTube video. So either way, either if you're using your script or you transcribe it, this is how you'll do that. So if that was your script, what you're going to do is copy and paste that into a text editor, if you're using Mac, I just have this on just the regular text editor. And then before I leave this sheet, I want to, this pages document or your Word document, I want to copy the title as well. And then I'm just going to minimize this. First, I want to come over to the text editor and I want to take out all of the hyperlinks. So I'm going to delete out the hyperlinks. And that's really simple. Just highlight them, hit your delete key, right? Super simple. Now, if you're using a Mac, you want to format this into plain text. If you're using um, Word, you can just save it into a text file. So what I want to do is just hit Make Plain Text, hit OK. It does that. That's great. We want to save this file, and I want to name it. Remember, we want to name it that same name as the other. I'm going to actually save it to my computer, and I can say exactly where I want to save it to. And I'm going to put it right there and right there. So, I saved that document. It's going to go ahead and save that up for me. And then what we can do now is we can actually go over to, we can just move this out of the way. We can come over here to YouTube. We can hit this upload caption file or transcript. Now, we don't have it time stamped, so we're going to go in, in here into this folder where we just put that. We're going to grab that and we choose it. Now, see, we don't have the time codes with it, so we're just going to put transcript file, and we're going to hit upload. And then what that's going to do, it's actually going to upload the, the document for you and timestamp it. So if that is your script, the great part is that what you can do is once that's done processing, you can have those timestamps. You can go back here on, on your description. You can, you can scroll down to the bottom of it down here, and you could actually... Right here, you can see I put a link back to the video itself. Right above that, you could put the links with the timestamps for some keywords that you're targeting, and it's going to give links right back to that spot in the video. So then you can take that once those are posted, recopy this whole thing, and then come back over here to YouTube and post that in your description so it has those stamps as well. So when this is done processing is when I will actually take those timestamps. I was hoping that maybe it would finish processing before we were done with this video today. So what I would really encourage you to do is go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm giving out tips like this all the time and I really want to help you succeed. And then I want you to follow the links I provided in this video so that what you can do is uh, get some training yourself and join me. So if you see on the screen it finished, I'm going to click on that English and you can see right here it uh, it did that whole thing So and it time stamped it. So I can find out when I'm saying something like social media training course at 31 seconds. Um, and let's go through that. So we'll say right up here, one second social media training. So we can come down here and I can just put this right in. Um, zero colon zero one social media training and then I can come in and I can look um, where else at 19 we say social media training um, here at 102 so let's go 19 and then 102 And then 102, I say free training. And we'll scroll down and go for a little bit more. 151, I say social media training. So you get the point. What I did here is grab that from my closed captioning. I put it in here. Now I can grab from here, go ahead, copy this whole thing again real quick right because this is my my description copy it come over here um, I can go ahead and like I showed you in the video yesterday add in any of my annotations here 
I'm going to go over to Info and Settings. I'm going to come in here to my description. I'm going to highlight the whole thing and I'm just going to paste in this new version. Bam, you can see it has the timestamps are in there. That's it. I'm going to hit Save Changes. And that's it. So I hope this helped, guys. I know this is a little longer than I usually go, but I hope this gave you some good nuggets. Uh, have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow.